That's a good question. Okay, recording now. Okay, so this, if you're practicing the observer and what's observing the observer, or what's witnessing the observer, the observer is a tool, but ultimately the experience is beyond using a tool. So the ultimate experience is, um, now when you practice the observer, you know, actually no one is practicing the observer because as soon as you go to the observer of thoughts, the idea of a you practicing something dissolves. So it's more like an intuitive process. There's no thinker that does the observer. Uh, it's not a body or a thinker that's doing the observer process. But as you go to the observer, there can be what's called uh, limited aspects of consciousness experiencing, which are not limitless. So as you, as you go to that which observes the thinker, the thoughts and the body, you still may get a aspect of consciousness which seems localized or limited or restricted. So then intuitively, not to use your head, because there's no head, you know, as soon as you go to the observer of thoughts, you're not using your head to try and do the process. So as you, get, as you experience this more limitless experience, then what's watching or observing this more expansive sense of consciousness, shall we say, not, not a thinker or a person any longer. So these are more limitless states of consciousness. But then again, intuitively, as you keep doing this, intuitively, con out of consciousness, out of nowhere, comes, well, is something witnessing this more limitless experience of consciousness? And so, okay, oh, there is a deeper witnessing of this, or a detached witnessing of this. Now, as you start to do this process, because it's one of the, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a process of enlightenment. It's a process of dissolving all the layers of illusion that mire and create the perception of this dualistic world. So, because it's so to the knife point with, with this world, then what happens is one starts to get mystical experiences. Now, there's different types of mystical experiences, and any type of mystical experience can sun, suddenly arise out of this. Whatever mystical experience you get is great. It's almost like the, these, are, these are tastes of things to come. You get glimpses of mystical experiences of things to come because you're on the fast track to dissolving everything that ties the limited sense of consciousness to this dualistic plane. So sometimes one can go into a state of bliss or ecstasy or sometimes, sometimes even one might get very bizarre experiences called cities. Like you may feel like you can hear things from all over London or you may feel like you have a sense of omniscience about what's going on you know, at home or whatever. All these kinds of... Because you're breaking up the field of localization so you're going into the infinite field that all information is available everywhere in this moment, at all places and all times, even past and future. It all collapses in the infinite, and you're starting to get glimpses of God consciousness be beyond the reality of a dualistic separated world and the laws of physics. So those my mystical, spontaneous experiences can come, or you can go off into non um, you can go into non-dual experiences where the whole world vanishes or there's a, there can be states which Hawkins would call classically call the void just infinite emptiness and stillness for all eternity with the world dissipating or you can go into the white light spiritual experiences where the whole world disappears in blazing white light so those are all the different types of mystical because this is um, I would say one of my teachers who was a who had a teacher who was, Ramana was his teacher, this thing of what's observing, this uh, Indian thing of um, non-duality, Advaita, what's observing. So as you go into these, the mystical experiences start to come because it's, it cuts identification, all the layers of it. So while you're doing this, it seems like something's happening, but then suddenly out of nowhere, mystical experiences, and those take over, you know, there is no intuitive trying to go to the deeper observer. Suddenly you get glimpses of realms, you know, even beyond this realm of uh, this world and what seems to be in this world. Those are the mystical experiences. And if those happen to you, or even the most bizarre spiritual experiences can happen, uh, take it as a sign you're on the right path. 
they often like fade after a while and you return back to seeming levels but they're glimpses of what what can, what can happen when you sort of like I've had so many there's different types of mystical experiences that can come but they're they're all they're all very good